Hi, I'm Sam Stern and welcome to my new series, Eat Up. In this episode, I'm going to be making an amazing Turkish style lamb flatbread. So first off, we're going to get cracking on the flatbread. Uh, it's so, so easy to make. It's just flour, some natural yogurt, cumin seeds, good pinch of those, and some salt. And it's simply a case of just mixing it. I like to get my hands in, because uh, then you can feel the consistency of the dough. Um, it shouldn't be too wet. And uh, you can always add more yogurt or more flour accordingly. Just uh, make sure you have clean hands when you do this. So now it's come together like this, uh, we're ready to go. Uh, so you just want to leave it while we prepare the lamb. Uh, put a tea towel over the top so uh, it's protected and doesn't form a crust. And then go wash your hands. So now it's time to cook the lamb. It's really, really simple. We've got a pan that's really hot. Uh, and our lamb here, we're just going to chuck it in. Uh, it's a dry pan because the lamb is quite fatty. So you just let it sizzle away for a minute or two until it's nice and brown. And you want to just break it up as it goes in. So you can move around the pan a little bit, turn it over, make sure it's nice and golden brown on each side. So now it's cooked, we're just going to take it out and put it through a sieve into a bowl. It just gets rid of all of the fat that you don't really want. So now the lamb's done. What we're going to do is we're just going to wipe down the pan get all of the fat out, put it back on like a medium, medium heat, um, add a little olive oil. There we go. And we're going to fry off some onions. You want these to be sweated down, but with a little colour, because that just enhances the flavour. And if you put a pinch of salt in at this time too, it should help stop them burning. And don't forget the method and the ingredient list is in the description box. So now the onions are cooked, what we're going to do is we're just going to chuck in a clove or two of garlic, some cinnamon and some mixed spice. And that's where the, all the, the sort of Middle Eastern flavours are going to come from. And you just want to cook that off on a gentle heat for about two minutes or so. So now it's been two minutes, what we're going to do is just put the lamb back in the pan, um, add a good amount of pine nuts, I love pine nuts some seasoning, and then you can squeeze on some lemon juice if you want, but um, just do it to taste. And then just give this a, like another 30 seconds and take it off the heat. So now the lamb's done, it's time to sort our flatbreads. We've got a dough here, and we'll just flour, put some flour on this uh, board just to stop it sticking. And we want to divide it into four or five or six, depending on the size you want. Um, so we'll go for quite big ones. So just tear it apart. We'll set it to one side. So you just want to roll it into a ball between your hands. And then the challenge is to make a circular flatbread. I won't be able to do it. So you just want to press down, take our rolling pin, again with the flour, And we want it nice and thin, so it's more of a, a square. So if you have better luck at making circular flatbreads, send your pictures into at the Tasty Tenor. And I'm just going to use this palette knife and just to um, safely remove it. And now the pan's really hot, we're just going to whack it in. So it's about a minute each side until it's you know pretty golden. So it's pretty brown, we're just going to flip it over. Same on the other side. We're just going to plate it up. So we put our flatbread down. Got some uh, lovely hummus. Just spread that right over the base. You can also use tzatziki or yogurt, uh, whatever you prefer really. We put our lamb on, which is still lovely and warm. Finally, We've got some uh, diced tomato, some red onion, and just some coriander. And we're just gonna pile that on top. 
So this adds a lovely freshness. And be as generous as you want with the lamb if you're feeling really hungry. And then we just add the torn coriander, a drizzle of olive oil. And finally, just a pinch of salt. So there you go, my Turkish style lamb flatbreads. Make them with your mates. Get everybody to make a uh, flatbread and then pile it high with all your favourite toppings. And don't forget to leave your comment below and subscribe to the channel if you like the recipe.